Now, it's going to be tough to follow that. And uh, we've tasked that with uh, the assistant general manager of the Lancaster Jethawks. And he has his book report now. So go ahead. Uh, my book report <laughs> is titled <laughs> Go Jethawks <laughs> by me. Okay, great. All right. There it is. Uh, um, Will, how are you doing? Doing well. Yeah. Doing very well. You're on the, what, what are we, cloud nine here. Uh, yes. We're, flo- we, we're we, doing, feeling good right now. We are very, very, very excited. Um, you know, we had a record year in attendance. We had over 170,000 fans come out to the ballpark this year. And wow. It, and the season is not over. Um, um, we recently swept uh, the Inland Empire 66ers, the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim affiliate, uh, the worst. in the playoffs. <laughs> um, and so we are now into the California League Championship Series, which uh, this is actually our second trip in the last three years to the Cal League Championship Series. And we won it in, in 2012. And I actually always say that um, every year the Kings win the Stanley Cup, the Jethawks win the California League. So so, you know, the only issue for some of your listeners might be the fact that the Giants also win the World Series those uh, years. But yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll hold off on that one just right now. Yeah, but uh, at least the Kings, when they win, the Jethawks win the win the uh, Cal League. So we're very excited about that. Kings have done their part. we got to do ours. So, yep. Okay, so here's the thing. Oh, it, it's it, Sometimes when you go to a Dodger game, it gets expensive. It's expensive. You got to pay for parking. You got to pay uh, plus the price of the tickets. Fourteen dollar beer. Uh, and yeah, I think the seventy five dollars now for a Dodger dog. Mm-hmm. So, uh, w- I mean, it's a cheaper destination for baseball fans, right? It is. Yeah. I mean, you, you come into the ballpark. Uh, you know, five bucks to park. You know, you're, you're, if you get your ticket in advance, it's eight bucks. Um, do- we have our beers there for five bucks. Um, <laughs> you know, so you know we don't we don't you know golden crust the the hot dog buns like they do at Dodger Stadium. Right? for the price you get there but i mean it's it's really just a very affordable place to come and bring your family i mean our we cater you know we obviously love our baseball fans that's that's you know they're the baseline they're the people that that come out every game but um we're more about the families and and bringing you know it's it's you know an alternative to going out to a movie or going out to to dinner some night you know you have three anywhere between two and a half to three hours of family entertainment there the kids can have a great time and and the neat thing is you can see some great baseball you know yeah. there's not a lot of uh you know there's something pretty much for everybody yeah. and, and that's the exciting part and the cool thing about uh minor league baseball that you don't get at a major league baseball game is it's more it's more family fun and and so do you have, what are some of the activities i know there's activities that that minor league ballparks have that major league ballparks don't have what, I mean, what type of stuff do you have for the family we have tons of stuff i mean you know the, the neat thing is you know we have uh, at the end of the seventh inning every game um we bring Every kid, you know, the first 250 kids, they have to get a free ticket at our information booth because we have to we have to limit the amount of kids. Yeah. But they can get a free ticket, and they get to actually chase our mascot across the outfield. <laughs> uh, so it's kind of a crazy thing. We play who let the dogs out. Our mascot takes off, and then 250 <laughs> kids go right after him. Um, it's exciting. Um, That's my nightmare. People, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, people like taking the stands, take bets on how many kids fall, and and you know. But it's 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 pretty funny, and and all in all, that's just one of the things we do Sundays we do catch on the field and you can run the bases after the games we you know during the season regular season we did fireworks every Friday and awesome. giveaways on Saturday and obviously with we had no idea when we we're playing our like we had no preparation time really for this series so we unfortunately couldn't do that for this this upcoming uh, championship series but we still have a lot of a lot of stuff going on and it's just you know going to be good baseball and good fun so yeah. that's, that's you know eight bucks if you buy your t- t- tickets in advance eight bucks for good baseball and I and I, we're going to get to the good baseball here in a second good baseball and a fireworks show yeah that's awesome yeah, yeah. Exactly, that's, and that's yeah. great. That's a great night. It it is, and it's an inexpensive night, and I think that's the most important part. Along yeah. with you know keeping everyone entertained for for three hours is not easy to do. You know, so we're we're kind of trying to yeah. you know let people know, hey, we we can we're a one stop shop for your Friday or Saturday night if if you want to come out and give us a shot. So awesome. Uh, we're speaking with Will. He's the uh, assistant general manager for the Lancaster Jethawks, and the Jethawks are in the championship. They're in the California League championship. They're Playing the who are they playing? Northern? They're playing the Visalia Rawhide, okay. uh, the the Arizona Diamondbacks affiliate, okay. um, and yeah, they they bounced the Bakersfield Blaze, who were the Reds affiliate in the playoffs. So um, it should be, you know, we're we haven't seen those guys. We haven't played them since like 
June. Yeah. So, okay. Because the North and the South divisions kind of tend to stick for the most part to their own divisions. For you know, yeah. It's kind of like divisional play in ma- Major League Baseball. Gotcha. So we'll see what happens. Okay. And it was, so we were talking about good baseball. You guys were rated the most talented minor league team. Yeah. At the beginning of the season this year, um, all these publications came out and they ranked the Jethawks as the most talented team in all of minor league baseball, and that includes Triple A, Double A, Single A. Wow. Yeah, everything. Um, we had nine of the Astros, and we're in a Houston Astros affiliate. Um, we had nine of the Astros' top 20 prospects to start the year. And we've still got a few of them left. Uh, a lot of them have, have been moved up, obviously, as you'd imagine. Um, but, you know, it's it's still, we've still got some of, the, every time you come out to the ballpark, you're going to see future major leaguers, and that's the neat thing. I mean, I was telling you earlier, when we were going on to win the championship in 2012, uh, Yesel Puig was playing right up the road in Lancaster, and yep. you could have seen him for eight bucks. Um, you know, I mean, that's and he he didn't have a great series against us actually as well. <laughs> we were all like, "Who is it? What this guy got? How much money?" And now all of a sudden, you know, we know why he got yeah, money. Yeah. So, um, but you know, you never know who you're going to see, and that's the exciting part. Yeah. So, and uh, I was talking to you earlier, and you know, you get a game where you can see forty hits, and then you said near the day after Mother's Day there was a no hitter. So it's a, it, you might you can see anything at of Lancaster Jetthawks. Yeah. yeah, it's you know our ballpark has not been called an offensively challenged ballpark <laughs> um, at elevation and with our the winds up in the Antelope Valley that blow directly out to right field. It, every left-handed hitter just loves coming to play at our place. Um, however, uh, last two seasons we've had two no hitters, um, and so it's actually this year it was a cool story. Our no hitter we had a, a combined no hitter with three pitchers that threw it, and they were all three roommates. <laughs> so it That's was awesome. kind of a really neat story there um but you know like i said it, it's it's something where we we typically see some runs scored um and that's you know exciting baseball yeah. we get a lot of home runs and just a lot of fun it's it's a good time awesome and i you guys still do the chicken dance right that's he is staple of the yeah, you know okay, I, right. who doesn't do the chicken dance yeah, i mean okay. i do it at least two or three times okay. a day he was doing house. it in you were doing it in the lobby <laughs> i was yeah, I, yeah, so. I, 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 it's like a little alarm on my yeah, phone you just, just wake up in the morning and that's <laughs> yeah. you just go yeah, chicken dance. my wife absolutely loves it i bet yeah, i bet so, yeah. yeah yeah uh we're giving away tickets to the series this saturday uh, it's game three against the Visalia. What is it? Visalia Rawhide. Rawhide, yes. Rawhide. The yes. hated Vos- Visalia Rawhide yeah, it, it, uh, at this point. Mildly upset with Visalia okay, Rawhide. Okay, that's, but, that's better. Yeah. But now it's going to start coming into hatred okay. if, if we can't win a few games on today and tomorrow, which okay. is when the series starts here. Gotcha. Okay, so we're giving away game, uh, tickets to Saturday, so make sure you check out KHDS on Facebook. We're going to be giving those away very soon. Will, thank you so much, and uh, good luck to you guys. Absolutely. Thank yeah. you guys for having me. Yeah, appreciate it. Uh, quick break, and... And uh, I think we're going to do our sports report.